always today we know and another things that is how to write the formal letters and letters have two parts that is informal letters and formal letters so at first we know what is informal letter informal letters are also known as personal letters such types of letters are usually written to relatives family friends or acquaintances these letters may or may not have a concrete reason for writing the aim of writing informal letters is to create a personal memoir it need not adhere to any formalities or follow any set pattern we know about the formal letters the letters that follow a certain formality and set pattern are formal letters such letters are precise directly addressing the concerned issue and are kept strictly professional in nature formal letters are short and to the point a variety of letters that fall within the category of formal letters are business letters official letters social letters circular letters employment letters letter writing format in general everyone needs to be aware of the format of letter writing more so candidates appearing for examinations a letter is composed of different elements that change depending upon its nature the format for both the types of letters are given below letter writing format of formal letter a formal letter must adhere to the prescribed format the letter writing format of a formal letter is as mentioned beside sender's address date receiver's address subject salutation body of the letter complimentary closure signature line sender's name signature and designation At first we discuss the sender's address one of the most essential components also known as the return address it is the mailing address of the sender the address and contact details of the person sending the letters are written here next one is date immediately after the sender's address comes the date on which the letter is written candidates while writing the letter in the exam can write the dates at first day next month then year next one is receiver's address the corresponding address that is the address of the recipient of the mail is written here candidates must start with the receiver's designation followed by the name of the organization and the full address pin code and country if the information is known next one is the subject the highlights the aim of writing the letter the subject of the formal letter should be very brief 6 to 8 words and must be presided by the word subject the receiver through the subject understands the purpose of the letter at a glance we discuss the salutation this is the customary greeting to the recipient of the letter if the name of the recipient is known the salutation starts with dear followed by mr mrs and miss etc if the person is unknown for even the gender is not known the recipient can be addressed as dear sir dear madam and you can see the table there is the salutations of the designation number a editors postmasters and police officers you can write down sir or madam b government officer etc you can write down sir or madam c principals and head of institution you can write down respected sir and respected madam d present or prospective employer you can write down sir or madam next shopkeeper businessman manager you can write down sir or madam and at last strangers and acquaintances you can write down dear sir dear madam or dear sir or dear madam 
to discuss the body the most important element of any letter it furnishes the reason behind writing the letter for formal letters candidates should use short clear logical paragraphs to state the subject matter the body of the letter is generally divided into three paragraphs number 1 introduction number 2 middle part and the number 3 conclusion introduction there that states the main point middle part that supporting points and detail to justify the need and importance of letter writing and the number 3 conclusion request for some action or what is expected next point is concluding line it is discusses that it comes at the end of the body of the letter always begin as a new paragraph it is determined by the writer's relation with the addressee for official letters thanking you with best regards etc and then we know about the complimentary closure This is to end the letter with respect in a polite manner such as your faithfully your sincerely and your most obedient etc and you can follow the table that is the complimentary closure for formal letters number a principals headmasters etc you can write down yours obediently or your most obedient number b editors comment officials shopkeepers private firms etc you can write down your faithfully or your truly see strangers you can write down your faithfully and the d for employment form one official to another or complaints or request to officials you can write down your faithfully and the last one we discuss that is signature line this is the last part where the sender of the letter signs of with his first or last name the signature line may also include a second line for the title or designations of the sender